Hey everybody, today we're down in the basement here and uh, gonna do a one year update on this Husqvarna uh, combi can here, the uh, half gas can, half oil can for chainsaws. So um, I'll kind of tell you what uh, I've learned over the last year, what I like and why I probably uh, won't be using it too much longer anymore. So stay tuned. All right, so when I first got this can, it came with uh, two of these auto stop spouts and then uh, one just regular pour spout, which I have this on the oil side. Uh, that, don't have any complaints about for the oil because it's thicker, so no issues there with that. The problem that I have is with these auto stop spouts. Um, they work really great for a little while and then they just stop working. I don't know, I think uh, either some grit or something builds up inside of these. Um, and when they're supposed to just pop back up when you let pressure off, um, when the gas tank's full, when you pick it out of the gas tank and grit builds up in there and it gets stuck. This is the first one that I used on there and um, it's not sticking as bad, but you can see it kind of, it sticks open there. And if you're pouring gas and you pull it out, it's just going to keep pouring out of there. So, um, I actually had changed this out for this one because they had sent two with the can. But as you can see, this one's even worse. It just, there's something inside of there that is keeping it from sliding. And this black piece comes off, but there is a... Uh, there's nothing in there. This is all one molded piece. Um, so with that being said, to try to pour gas into your saw while well, you got this stuck open, it doesn't pour out of there very well. Um, so, and these being from the US, this size uh, nozzle here, uh, this isn't standard for us, because uh, this came from overseas. So. Uh, I'll probably take a look to see if I can find a different nozzle or if I had another one of had another one of these but um, uh, we'll see what I can find if I can find something else for here then I'll keep using it other than that um, this is kind of a pain it doesn't work real well um, these tool holders they work all right um, it seems like you know stuff bounces around they do pop out but nothing major there and then it does have some pouches here for the wedges like i showed last time so i mean that does work you can only fit like two wedges in there um so i mean most people have a few more wedges than that so um you can keep two but uh it'd be nice if this was a little bit bigger um so let me pick you up here um the other thing that uh, I don't really care for at all is if you look at this thing from up above, uh, it's very narrow and long, which, you know, I guess from the standpoint of fitting, fitting somewhere works nice, but a lot of times I'll take this and put it around in the back of my truck, and uh, if this thing's any more than half full, it's, uh, it's tipping over, it's going all over the place because it's... Not very sturdy. It'd be nice if it was more of a square design uh, and it would kind of have a, a bigger footprint, uh, would be better. And then uh, the last thing, um, no real issues here on the oil side, that's all good. Um, on the gas side, um, this is in liters, um, which just kind of makes it tough for uh, doing stuff in in our gallon mixes that we have being it's from overseas so you can see i put a black mark there on um on the spot where a gallon is um just so i can do my mix ratio correct um but i generally will uh mix it in a gallon gas can get it shaken up and then i'll pour it into here just because it's a uh, seems to be a little bit easier so um that's about it. I mean, I've used it quite a bit over the last year, but uh, uh, it seems like it's uh, a little bit more frustrating than, than anything else. So, so for the uh, 
next video coming up i'll probably be doing a a review on the the new saw here this is the the echo cs 7310 um so we'll get a review video of that i've probably got about half a dozen of tanks of gas through it something like that um so far excellent saw but uh, we'll have more to come on that so thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one